discussion in Eurogroup today, uh, ministers, as Commissioner Gentiloni just noted a moment ago, did not get into too much detail regarding uh, their views regarding how potential sanctions and the strengthening of sanctions could affect our economic performance across the rest of the year. Uh, comments in relation to this were general. You will all be aware of differing views that already exist regarding future decisions that could be taken. Uh, but in our Eurogroup today, the discussion was general, focused on how we can continue to enforce what we have and acknowledging now there is a need to look at what further steps can be taken. And uh, nobody got into too much detail regarding uh, any differing views regarding potential next steps that could be taken. In relation to the exact level of privacy that should be made available uh, if the digital euro is developed further, we had a range of options presented to us by the uh, ECB in relation to differing levels of privacy that could be available. And uh, the uh, guidance that was offered at this point uh, was quite broad because ministers will have the opportunity to come back to this process later on in the year. Uh, two features of the guidance that were offered were firstly that the uh, level of privacy that should be made available should not be inconsistent with the delivery of other important priority policies for the European Union, namely how we can reduce money laundering and how we can uh, continue to reduce uh, sources for funding for terrorist or criminal activity. Uh, so ministers wanted to see a balance between protecting privacy but at the same time allowing progress to continue to be made on other things that we believe to be important. And then secondly, there was a recognition that maybe for some s transactions that are of a smaller value, uh, there could be a greater degree of privacy afforded to those smaller transactions. But I'd emphasise again, uh, the uh, discussion was at a broad level uh, because we will have the opportunity to come back to this topic later on in the year and uh, at that point I think make clearer uh, general guidance that we wish to offer as this project reaches a decision point. In relation to the level of protection that would be afforded to other euro area assets, that didn't come up today. Thank you.